Okay, we're inside a 2019 Keystone Sprinter Limited 35 foot fifth wheel. Was built in the summer of 2018, purchased in the summer of 2019, brand new. I've been reading a lot of positive reviews on the RV airflow plenums that go in there and clean up the air turbulence. So I wanted to go ahead and pop that off and see what I was going to get into. So after go ahead and remove my cover, uh, by the way, it's a Coleman Mach. That's a 15K unit. The RV airflow plenum that goes in there, what it does, it keeps the air from just coming down here and jamming into this wall. Coming through here and then jamming into this and being distributed out into the vents. We'll go up there and take a look at the vents. But the purpose of this video is that I have a lag bolt completely missing. Now this was built before we even knew what COVID was, so I can't blame it on COVID. But these four lag bolts, well it's supposed to be four, in my case three. That's what holds the top unit on the roof. You know, one here, one here, and one here. You got them in the corners. I wanted to take a look at that because the plenum fits up in here. Then bolts come out, and they have a channel, and then the bolts will go up through the plenum. But I got a feeling that they left this one out. He was a little bit out of plumb. It may not get him in there. I don't know. I'm going to take one out and try it very carefully. This RV hasn't traveled a lot. It's only got like 1,200 miles on it. And just a few weeks of camping in it. But she's done that with three lag bolts in place. So I'm going to take one out and see if I can even get one in there. It may not be possible. I'm not sure. It has not leaked. But I've checked it out. There's no leaks in it. Let me pull out another lag bolt and we'll see if it'll even go in there. Okay, we popped one out the opposite corner here. Let's just see if it'll go. I don't think it will. It looks like a pretty good angle. Oh no. I think they broke one off in there. Is that possible? Oh. Oh man. They broke one off in there. Yes, it's broke off in there. That's going to be fun. If that'll show up or not. Anyway, I've got one broke off up there. I'm going to have to try to figure out how I'm going to handle it. It should have been fixed at the factory. Instead, somebody just covered it up and shipped it on out. But we all know how they're built. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. But it looks like drilling that out with a right angle drill is going to be a real job. So I'm going to get on top and take off the shield. You just kind of look around up there. If I'm lucky, I can have access to that from on top. And from looking at these, look how much thread's on top of that. So I got plenty there to get a hold of if I have to with a pair of pliers or vice grips and thread it on out. Then I can take a tap and clean the threads up down here. But you can see how that gasket is compressed so much up here. Compared to here, this is really thick. He's not compressed much at all. But like I said, it hasn't leaked. I'd feel a lot better if I could get that lag bolt in there. The threads on these guys are one quarter by 20. And the way you're supposed to measure a bolt is from the flange here to the tip is seven and three quarter inches. And so far all I've seen is a four bolt kit for 37 bucks. So I'm gonna see what I can find, just an individual. Okay, I got on top and went ahead and started to disassemble the AC, at least to the point where I felt comfortable. Well, it's too bad it wasn't one of these bolts. Look how easy that is to get to. There's the one missing that I took out to check my angle. The other two... This isn't going to just come right out. The fan goes up under it. I didn't want to get into too much more disassembly there. Okay, the bolt I got broke. Let me get my flashlight. I doubt if that will really show up. But that's the bolt that's broke off. He's got all that above him. I can't get my hand down there. I was hoping, I was hoping ultimately it would be well exposed like that when I could just take a pair of vice grips and run him on out. The other one's the same way. It's buried up there in the foam. So I did not want to go any further. So I'll show you what I did. I went underneath and I had enough clearance to take a pair of vice grips 
and try to back him out what happens there is the threads will get absolutely destroyed so you have to go forward so you have to keep going clockwise and it's broke to the point where i can only gain maybe an eighth of a turn and then she locked up tight and just start grinding the threads off of the bolt so after looking around right or wrong i decided to drill a hole that bolt is about three quarters of an inch forward right between these two screws here and here so i went at a slight angle to keep it right there and you can see i even hit the insulation let's go down underneath and i'll show you what it looks like and why i think it's going to work ultimately i was hoping to use these needle nose vice grip pliers get in there and get on it and i did i did get on it but the threads were actually kind of soft this might be why the bolt broke off in the first place it acted extremely soft so when i install the rv airflow plenum it's one piece of foam that eliminates all this and this air coming out it has a perfect just a perfect split S blends right into this and then right into this one now you've got some cleanup to do look at all that bare space there so i'm going to have to do some trimming here and take some tape and you want to cover all this up the best you can this is all just the way i discovered it just the way i found it and I think this comes out. So I think that'll work. Now when I get done, let me show you the angle. On the RV airflow plenum, it, on all four corners, you remove these four bolts. And it fits up in there snugly. And it has a channel for these bolts to go up in. Well, I'm going to have to make kind of an angle. I'm going to have to go in there like this. But I'm just going to get a regular six inch or a six or a six and a half inch, quarter inch by 20 bolt and nut and lock washer on top. All I'm trying to do is compress this gasket. There's no compression at all. I want to get some compression on that like it's supposed to be. And you may already know this, but these four bolts, they're only torqued 50 inch pounds. That's not very much. So I've got an inch pounds, uh, inch pound wrench or a screwdriver so i'm going to set it just exactly where they're supposed to be but you can see how thick this gasket is that's a nice thick one and some of them are saying that it's like an inch thick originally and you compress it to a half inch or something like that but i'm going to go with the 50 inch pounds but that old boy at the factory he twisted that one off and put the cover on it and he got this rv out of dodge but i think it'll work and that's going to summarize that's going to wrap up this. This is not an install on the RV Airflow Systems Plenum. And I just ordered mine a while ago. I think I spoke with Catherine up there. And she got me lined out on which one I need and everything. But I think it'll work just fine. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. Travel safe out there.